we will solve error of problem 1.78 it is based on constraint motion there is a block wedge and this angle is theta or alpha and uh, whatever you can take this is connected to a pulley kind of a thing and uh, this is another arrangement these two are connected to the body there is a string going through this and weight of string is negligible mass of this body is m mass of this body is capital m and when this body starts falling down this body will move in this direction because string will be pulled we have to find the absolute acceleration of mass m there is a friction between these two which is coefficient is mu k now in this problem first of all see the constraints this distance let it be a will always be fixed between the two pulleys now this be one variable x and this be y and this be x this distance is x and let this string distance here be y y x plus y plus a a would be equal to l which is length of the string which is constant differentiate double differentiate you get a is also constant l is also constant so x double dot is equal to minus y double dot it means that the acceleration of mass m in this direction that is the acceleration of mass m relative to this body is equal in magnitude this a x is equal in magnitude to a y we can take it as a so these two are in equal magnitude that is a very important result now see the free body diagram look at this body which is hanging there is a tension t which acts on it there is a weight mg which acts on it now since this body is moving with acceleration a and this body is moving with acceleration a relative to the block please keep in mind it is not an absolute acceleration relative acceleration of this relative to this is equal to acceleration of this in horizontal direction this body is moving in this direction and also moving in this direction because of this because the frame of reference of this body see the frame in which it was moving this frame is moving with acceleration a so for that reason this body will experience a pseudo force m a in this direction and the normal reaction in this direction so normal reaction would be equal to m a and there will be a friction force f which will be mu n so now see what are the forces which are acting this is the downward acceleration relative to this frame once we have taken relative to this frame you have to look at all the pseudo forces possible and we have taken pseudo force into account now just keep on working on this relative motion so m a would be equal to m g minus t upwards minus mu n which is nothing but minus mu k this is one equation we have got very simple now apply equation for this the free body diagram for this body is like this there is a normal force acting on it there is a tension t which is flowing through which is acting like this so it will act here like this if it is acting on this pulley in this direction you have to take it as if it is acting here so there is a tension which is pulling it in this direction there is a normal reaction to it what else force is there this friction is absent so no friction is here so no other force which we can see in its motion so we can write it as m a is equal to 
T minus N is what? MA and this is capital M. Now the value of you just add these two equations you will get A M plus M is equal to Mg minus mu M A minus M A bring all A on one side you get A M plus twice M plus mu M is equal to M G so you get the value of A as G upon 2 plus mu plus M upon M is the value of acceleration A now this body as we said this body is moving with an acceleration A because of the movement of this frame and related to this frame this is the acceleration so its absolute acceleration will be like this square and add these two because these two are perpendicular so its velocity will be root 2 times A sorry acceleration so its acceleration will be root 2 times this so this is the answer to the problem. Thank you.